Hi, my name is Mohammad Javad Zalaki and I'm with you from Robotic Knowledge Channel. I'm happy that the lectures are interesting to you and you are following them. In this lecture, I want to explain how to measure the change in position of a mobile robot, in our case a turtle boat, using its wheels and coders. It is interesting um, problem for us because before using LIDAR to map the environment, we have to know about the current position of the mobile robot itself. So we want to use encoders and in this lecture, I want to explain how you can use encoder and actually the theory behind the implementation of the algorithm uh, for odometry. So here you can see our turtle boat from top view the yellow box is its frame and the white boxes are the wheels and here you can see this circle actually the wheel here is the ground the main assumption here and at this kind of problem is that we have no sleep so we have a pure rotation when the mobile robot is moving at the contact point and for a tiny time step, in our case, for robot simulation is 32 milliseconds, we can say that the change in position of the center of the wheel is equal to, we call it delta R here for right wheel, and you can see it here with the screen vector, is equal to the radius of the wheel capital R times change in angle of the wheel and we know from the kinematic of the wheel for pure rotation constraint this angle is around this contact point the next question is what is this delta theta before answering that question let me explain you why the change in position of this of this center point is happening at x of this local coordinate this is because of the position of this point which is on this vertical line we know that the velocity vector is perpendicular to this yellow line so change in position of this interesting point should be in x direction for a tiny time step okay here you can see another drawing again the side view of the turtle boat you can see the wheel which is attached to the platform here we are seeing the wheel and the encoder actually I want to find a link between the rotation of the wheel and the feedback of the encoder we know that every encoder has a resolution the resolution is the number of steps, the number of ticks over one rotation of the actually encoder. For example, uh, when a wheel is under rotation and after one rotation, if we monitor the changes in the feedback of the encoder, you can see that it's equal to resolution of the encoder so resolution actually is the number of t's the number of steps of an encoder and we can use that I mentioned that one rotation is equal to change in feedback of the encoder delta n uh, and from the theory we know that it's equal to resolution of the encoder which I'm going to call it m and based on this relation I can say that for a delta theta not a 2 pi rotation the change in the angle of the wheel is equal to delta n over m times 2 pi and again delta n is the change of the feedback of the encoder during rotation of the wheel with amount of delta theta m is the encoders resolution and 2 pi is come from here so now I have the knowledge of the change in the wheels angle 
and the change of the encoder feedback for a tiny time step and you can see instead of delta theta I'm using delta n over m times 2 pi and you can see change of the position of the right wheel at its local coordinate is at x direction and its magnitude is 2 times r times pi times delta n over m for a tiny time step the first assumption 32 milliseconds for example and the final part is the main question how we can monitor the change of the position of this interesting point we know that for an initial time the location of the robot it's from assumption and we want to update this position position of this black point when the robot is moving also you can see i have drawn here the change of the position of the right and left wheels and i have the knowledge of these vectors from these uh, slides so easily i can say that the overall change of this interesting point is equal to 1 over 2 times delta r for the right wheel plus 1 over 2 times delta r for the left wheel to create a sense from this coefficients 1 over 2 um, imagine just your robot is moving at a forward trajectory for example in x direction or y direction the both wheels are moving with the same speed so the change of position of this interesting point and the change of the position of the circle of the right or left wheel is equal so we have coefficients and from again the, the previous slides we know that both of the yellow vectors are in this x local direction so we know that it's something times i of this local coordinate as a result we have the knowledge of the change of the position of this center point but it is measured at local frame at this red attached frame to this mobile robot how can we project the measurement at this local frame to global frame it's easy because we have the knowledge of orientation of the robot from gyro sensor um, you can check the previous lecture in that lecture i showed that you can measure this theta using the integral of the angular rate of this mobile robot about the z axis of this global coordinate frame so you can project this local vector using cosine and sine of this theta don't be confused this theta is kinematic angular state of the mobile robot not the wheel angular state so consider that we can project this vector and we can say that the change at this interesting position vector is equal to a square from here times cosine of theta in global x direction plus a square times sine of theta at this global y direction finally we can summary our odometry algorithm here you have the wheels radius you have the encoder resolution so based on the change of the encoder feedback change of the encoder feedback for the right and for the left wheel you can calculate change of the right and left wheels at local frame finally you can calculate the change of the interesting point the point of the robot which we want to track based on the right and left wheel position change again this measurement is local to be to have a global measurement you have to convert that using the angular state of the mobile robot so you can update the position of the robot x is equal to x plus delta r times cosine of theta and y is equal to y plus delta r times sine of theta 
and this update is based on an initial position for your mobile robot so we learned how to monitor the position change of a mobile robot at the next lecture i will implement this odometry algorithm in web apps and we can verify our algorithm but another important point is here that at webots you have delta delta and encoder is feedbacking the angular state of the wheel so you can simply calculate delta delta without implementation of the change of the encoder feedback based on the ticks and you have theta based on the encoder and you can track the delta theta for your simulation step time so uh, in web ads, our work is much easier just wanted to show the complete algorithm for odometry here i hope that this lecture was useful and interesting for you please follow our channel i am muhammad jawad zalabi from robotic knowledge channel with you bye bye